Hello students. The recent trend in the national level examination like the JWE need with respect to quotation compounds indicates that problems based on concept of hybridization, magnetic properties, CFSC value, inner or outer complexes, color, etc. are the main sources of generating the questions. All these properties of the coordination compounds can be calculated simply by knowing the number of electrons present in the D subshell of the metal atom or the ion of the coordination compound. Clear? So, all these problems can be solved if you know the number of D electrons. Then, uh, it would be very much helpful if you know the simplest technique to calculate the number of D electrons. And the simplest technique is simplest technique for finding the D electron is as follows. Just look at this. The number of D electrons is equal to atomic number of the metal atom or the ion of the complex compound minus 18. Well, we are talking about 3D series only. If it is 4D series, it will be 18 into 2. If it is third row transition element that is third series then it will be 18 into 3 with respect to first row transition element and 3d series it will be 18 minus oxidation number this will give us the number of electrons present in the d subshell then this information along with the following one or two information will help us to find out all those properties very much easily look at this this number can be, this number can be either odd or it can be even. Then we know that there are two types of ligands. One is weak ligand, another one is strong ligand. Remember students, this information is going to help us to solve all those four to five problems very much easily. If it is weak ligand and if the number of electron is odd, then it will be surely paramagnetic. Even if it is even, it will be surely paramagnetic. Remember, in the complex compound, most of the time, wherever weak ligand is present, mostly that compound is paramagnetic in nature. Then, instead of weak ligand, if the complex has strong ligands, then the number of electron is odd then most of the time, the number of unpaired electron will be always equal to 1. Then its magnetic moment, spin only magnetic moment will be equal to square root of 3 or this will be equal to 1.732 volt magneton most of the time. And if the number of D electron is even and if uh, the ligand is strong, most of the time the complex compound is Diamagnetic because due to force pairing, all the unpaired electrons will be forced to pair up. Well, this is possible for those complexes where the D electrons start from 4 onwards. But if it is, if the D electrons are between 1, 2, and 3, then nature of ligands do not matter. Force pairing will not take place. Force pairing or pairing will never occur with this with this electronic configuration. D1, D2, D3. Force pairing takes place only from D4 onwards. Remember, students, force pairing is possible only if strong ligand is present. Force pairing do not occur with respect to the complex components where the electrons are one. 2 or 3. Then, these complexes, these complexes, that means the complexes where D electrons are 1, 2, 3, they mostly form outer complexes. Outer complexes are they try to possess octahedral geometry. Remember, students, sometimes it may not be outer. But it will be surely octahedral. Okay. Well, this concept will be very clear when we solve some examples. Okay.
FEA is the example. FEA can form a complex with say chloride, chloride, uh, ammonia, cyanide, as well as carbon monoxide. If it forms complex with fluoride, then it will be FeF6 raised to 3 minus. And if it is with Cl, it will be FeCl6 raised to 3 minus. And if it is with NS3, FeNH3 6 times raised to 8. 3 minus. If it is with cyanide, it will be FeCl6 raised to either 2 minus or 4 minus. And if it is with CO, it will be FeCO 5 times. Alright. Remember, students, ligand has a donor atom as fluoride, sulfide, oxygen, etc. excluding nitrogen and carbon, most of the time such ligands are acting, will act as weak ligands. That means ligands with halides, sulfides, then oxygen. All these will act as weak ligand. If the ligands have, these are the donor atoms. And if the ligand has carbon or nitrogen as a donor atom, then it will act as strong field ligand. Remember this. This will be very much easy. Except carbon and nitrogen as a donor atom, all the, all the ligands are weak ligands. And if it is if the donor atom is carbon and nitrogen, then, then it will be a strong ligand. Okay. Let us take this example. Let us go for the calculation of D electrons. Once you know the day electron, we can speak about the paramagnetic property, hybridization, CFAC value, etc. Okay. Here, Z. Z is how much here? 26. Minus 18. 3D series. Minus. Okay. Here, this oxidation number is, most of the time, oxidation number is just the charge of the complex. Is that clear? But the thing is, that should be positive one. If it is negative, just... Negative the sign that you take that number that itself is the oxidation number. Well, here it is 3. Then this indicates that 26 minus 21, it means that it is D5 state. That means it has got 5 electrons in the D subshell. And the ligand is ligand is weak ligand. Ligand is weak ligand. Look at this. The number is odd. Yes, the number is odd and it is weak ligand. It means that should be paramagnetic in nature. Let us look at this. One, two, three, four, five. This is 3D. 4S, one, two, three, four, three. Only. This should be 4P. Check how many electrons are there in uh, D orbital? 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. These are the 5 electrons. Whether force pairing takes place, check. It's a weak ligand. That means no force pairing takes place. And the coordination number is 6. It means that it is trying to have octahedral geometry. If it is octahedral geometry, then 6 orbitals must be vacant. Okay. There is Force pairing do not occur. That means these are orbitals will not be available for hybridization. Then available orbitals are how many? 4. 1s and 3p orbitals are available. Then how about other two? The other two, this complex will be made available by using higher d orbitals. That is 4d orbitals. That means here 1 from s, 3 from p and 2 from d. That is higher. These orbitals undergo hybridization to give S, 
P3 B2 hybridization. As B is after that is outside we have written that is called as outer complex. We getting this? Okay. It will be outer if it is weak ligand. If it is weak ligand, force pairing do not occur. Is it clear? Okay. Then number of unpaired electrons are how many? Five. That means it is paramagnetic in nature. Then spin-only magnetic moment corresponds to number of unpaired electrons. How much it is? N of n plus two. Five of five plus two. This will be square root of thirty-five pm. Is it clear, students? Well, same is the case with this also. Well, it is a special one. We will deal with this example afterwards. Now we take some example for uh, if uh, strong ligand. If Fe, this Fe is replaced by Cm, which is a strong ligand. Let us see what happens. Oh, here, here Z electrons, uh, D electrons will be equal to Z minus. 18 minus oxidation number. Well, here let us take this 2 minus as a charge. Then it will be 26 minus 18 minus 2. Or else let us take this, uh, let it do 2 only. Then it will be how much? 20. This is D6 configuration. D6 means, well, here one more electron comes in. One more electron comes in here, and instead of uh, weak ligand, the ligand will be strong ligand. It means that this strong ligand allows force pairing if there are unpaired electrons. Look at this. This electron will be shifted to this here. That means it is gone. Then this electron will also shifted to here. That means it is also gone. That means these orbitals are not necessary. Because, see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many orbitals are required for that complex? Just look at this. That orbital is equal to 6, which is coordination number. Then it will be outer, uh, outer ideal complex only. And now, look at this. Here, type of hybridization is D, 2, S, P, 3. It means that if this strong ligand is participating, then inner d orbitals are utilized. If weak ligands are participating, then outer d orbitals are utilized. Therefore, this complex is called as this complex is called as inner. This complex is called as outer. So this is inner complex. Are you getting students? When do we notice that inner complex is formed? Inner complex is produced if inner d orbitals are utilized. Inner d orbitals are utilized only if force pairing occurs. Force pairing occurs only if strong ligands are participating. Now look at this one more aspect. Due to force pairing, how many unpaired electrons are remaining now? See here, how many? No unpaired electrons. It means that here number of unpaired electrons will be equal to zero. Then mu s is equal to 0.0 bn. That means it is diamagnetic substance. Look at this. Fe was paramagnetic with weak ligands. Fe is becoming diamagnetic with strong ligands. Are you getting this? Now let us take uh, this as an example. Well, here number of d electrons is equal to atomic number of Fe, which is 26 minus 18 then what is the charge on this zero that means it is a zero this simply means that d electrons will be equal to this much how much is how much it is it is d a okay co is co is a strong ligand it means force pairing authors now let us look at this situation here well here d8 are there it means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 3D series, 3D set. This is 4S and this is 4P. Let us check whether it will be inner or outer complex. So how many electrons are to be added here? 8 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट अब एट इलेक्ट्रॉन से प्रेजेंट इट इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग लिगैंड कार्बन मोनऑक्साइड इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग लिगैंड एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर इज फाइव दिस मींस दैट एफ ई नीड्स फाइव ऑर्बिटल्स टू अकोमोडेट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डोनेटेड बाय द लिगैंड how many orbitals are required five and look at this how many are available here four then one more is to be made free and check whether this should be paired in if it is to be paired then strong ligand must be required must be present in whether the ligand is strong yes of course strong that means this will be four should be pair up that means it will be back end then it will be pair the number of unpaired electrons will be how many zero because it is strong ligand then d electrons are even if d electrons are even then strong ligand is present always number of unpaired electrons will be zero remember student then the complex will be diamagnetic always now look at this the type of hybridization is see here this is b1 s1 p how many 3 This is DSP three hybridized orbitals. Well, this becomes the structure which is equal to trigonal by pyramidal. Okay, let us see this. Yes, trigonal by pyramidal. And as it is this first, it is written. That means it is inner. That means it is inner trigonal bipyramidal. Then it is diamagnetic in nature. Therefore, just by looking at the d electrons, we are able to predict magnetic property, shape, then hybridization. Then let us take up this example with four as the oxidation number. Okay, here. d electrons is equal to how many what is this z 26 minus 18 minus 4 it means 26 minus 22 it means it is d4 d4 means pairing occurs for pairing to occur strong ligand must be present strong ligands are those which will use either nitrogen or carbon as a donor atoms look at this Well, it is cyanide. Both carbon and nitrogen both are present. That means cyanide will be a strong ligand. So ligand is strong ligand. That means this implies four should be pairing occurs. Then here one, two, three, four, five. This is three D. Four S. One, two, three, four P. How many uh, electrons are present here? Four. One, two, three. And four. Okay, four pairing occurs. Let us see. How many electrons? How many orbitals are required by Fe to form the uh, bond with the cyanide ligands? Six. Six orbitals. See here, how many are there available? One, two, three, four, five. And if that is the case, if one electron is shifted over here, even this orbital can be made available for bonding. That that means to make this electron to pair, strong ligand is present. Therefore, this electron will be shifted to first one. That means it is paired up. So how many electrons are available now? Unpaired electrons. How many? Two. Two unpaired electrons are available. Now type of hybridization is here. B two S P three. That means it is. Octahedral, but inner. Why inner? This is utilizing inner d orbital, inner d orbitals. Therefore, it is inner. Then number of unpaired electrons are two. This means that spin only magnetic moment is equal to square root of n of n plus two. Two of two plus two. This is equal to square root of eight. More magnetron. Is it clear, student? Okay. <clears throat> this is similar to this we have dealt with this already this is dealt 
this we have taken into consideration. This needs some special attention. We deal with anomalous behavior of ammonia. In that, in that heading, we take this example. Is that clear?